Welcome to the Lower East Side Preparatory High School 2020 graduation. Uh, I welcome graduates, their families, staff, and everybody else who's here to celebrate uh, this momentous occasion. Uh, you know, you all are, are living through a, a moment in time when everything is changed, and the, the definition of history is changed, but this will be one of those turning points that you can look to and say, I was there, and this is what happened. Uh, this has been a difficult time, a time when I'm sure everything seemed against you, but tough times build character. You didn't lay down. You focused on what needed to be done, and you made something happen. You've graduated from high school under the most overwhelming circumstances. Much has been out of your control, but you seized the opportunity and you were true to yourself. You were resilient and courageous during a time when it would have been easier to be passive and resign yourself to your fate. You rose to the challenge. You faced it and met it. For this, I am proud of each and every one of you and the tremendous effort you've put into getting here. Not only did you rise to the challenge, but so did your teachers and your parents and guardians. Take a moment to thank your teachers for turning on a dime to provide you with the remote experiences you needed to continue your learning. For keeping expectations high in the face of outrageous fortune. Also, take a moment to thank your parents or your guardians or that important person in your life who has been there to support you through all of this. This pandemic has forced us all to pause and pay closer attention to what is important in life. You've all experienced those basic adult responsibilities, like what's for dinner tonight? Who's doing the dishes? Whose turn is it to clean the bathroom or do the laundry? And most importantly, who's gonna give me a haircut? Uh, becoming an adult, however, is more than just taking on chores around the house. Becoming an adult is understanding that real knowledge is knowing when someone is telling you truth and someone is lying to you. Wisdom is recognizing the truth in the lies. Honestly, this pause has forced us to face a number of very unpleasant truths about our society, and hopefully also to seek far-reaching remedies to long-standing violence, discrimination, and hatred. This is a landmark moment in the affairs of our country. Why is it that most people who have died from the virus come from minority communities? Why are individuals from minority communities so often treated as guilty and so proven innocent? Why are immigrants blamed and vilified? There are many in this country at the moment who appear focused on answering these questions. Uh, how do we make sure the answers they give us are truthful, that they aren't just more lies? Ending violence, discrimination, and hatred comes from knowledge and wisdom. And knowledge and wisdom begin with education. LESP's goal was to provide you an environment to explore the historical context in which you live. We asked you to learn how to find evidence, to develop an argument, to find your voice, and to use it to speak up for yourself. This knowledge and these skills will serve you well as you become an involved adult citizen of the United States. Of course, what comes next is up to you. What research will you do about the people who lead us? What are the minimum rights, services, and privileges that we deserve from the society in which we live? Who will be our leaders as we move forward? And how will you evaluate the evidence they use to support their arguments? Will you use your voice to speak up for, the, for yourself and your community? I really have no advice or no answers for how you should approach the undiscovered country that is the future. All I know is that you have recently been exposed to the most challenging issues we face as human beings. I have only presented some essential questions you must consider if you ever hope to take an active role in formulating and carrying out the solutions we will need. I offer you the responsibility to play your role and to do so in the most thoughtful and critical way possible. We are all counting on you to act, and so is the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. I promise you, class of 2020 LESP, you will never be forgotten. Good luck. Been home.
hustling and tonight is my appraisal Cause I'm selling songs and my record label This world is full of demon stocks and bonds and Bible traders So I do the deed, get up and leave a climber and a sadist, yeah Are you ready for the sequel? are happy for me or their honeysuckle phonies Then they celebrate my medals or they wanna take my trophies Some are loyal soldiers while these other thorns are rosy And if you never know who you can trust Then trust me you'll be lonely oh. Are you ready for the sequel? Are you ready for the latest? In the garden of evil I'm gonna be the greatest In a golden cup Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Principal Nyan, the staff of Lower East Side Prep High School, parents, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations to you, the graduating class, as you have achieved a significant accomplishment in your life, earning your high school diploma. Uh, this is especially momentous, given the fact that you've done it during a year when the world was caught up in a global pandemic. My best wishes to all of you on your future success in your studies and life. My name is Nelson Mara, and I'm here today on behalf of the Virginia Youth Fund for Social and Economic Justice, a foundation I helped to start after the sudden death of my wife, Virginia Yu, who was a counselor here at Lower East Side Prep at the time of her passing. We created the foundation to continue Virginia's legacy of fighting for social and economic justice. And with the scholarship we are handing out today, we hope to both recognize and encourage students here at Lower East Side Prep to share in Virginia's commitment to bring greater justice to the communities around us. And this is, as we can see, more necessary now than ever. Today, due to the ongoing pandemic and the fight for racial justice, it's clear we all have a shared responsibility to improve our community and to care for those around us. It's not just what is happening nationally that requires us to be active and engaged, but also what is happening locally. So I encourage all of you to do whatever you can to take care of yourself, care of the loved ones around you, but also to make sure you're taking care of those that need it in the communities that you live in. So on to this year's award recipient. Uh, this year, the Virginia Youth Fund for Social and Economic Justice is happy to announce the winner of the 2020 scholarship is Irina Stanislavovna Kanova. Uh, my apologies, Irina, if I mispronounce your name. I hope I did it justice. Our selection committee was impressed by Irina's commitment to social justice through her work with the organization No Longer Empty and her activism within the student organizations and student government at Lower East Side Prep. Congratulations, Irina, and we hope to hear about your continued commitment to social and economic justice as you move forward in life. 
Thank you all again, um, the Lower East Side Prep High School community, Principal Anania, and congratulations to the graduating class. Thank you. Leo Club, leadership, experience, opportunity. Leos encourage youths to develop leadership qualities by participating in social service activities. The Leo Club this year would like to award the following scholarship to from the Helen Chong Memorial Fund, Jia Hui Yi. In memory of Lion Nanoko Aguri, Li Hua Yu. And from the New York Cosmopolitan Lions Club, Alejandro Zhang Zen. Congratulations. of 2020 i miss you so much i know there's a lot going on right now but this is a time that you will never forget so be proud of yourselves as we're proud of you congratulations congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. Pass. Oh. Congratulations seniors, we are so proud of you and all that you have done to make it through the last leg of high school, especially this quarantine. We can't wait to see what you guys are up to next, so please always remember that LESP is there for you. Congratulations seniors, you did it! So proud, I couldn't be prouder. Uh, congratulations on the beginning of the rest of your life. Hi seniors, congratulations, and I hope you guys continue to stay fit and I hope you enjoy. Congratulations to the class of 2020. While it may not be the graduation you might have hoped for, it's still a time for celebration. You did it, and there's so many lessons that you can take away from all this craziness. But here's just one more. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Don't be afraid to take risks and ask for a little help along the way. Good luck to the class of 2020. Hey, to the graduating class of 2020. Um, I know this isn't the graduation that you wanted or expected, but um, Y'all are amazing, you did a great job, and uh, I can't wait to see all the amazing things that you do in your lives. Uh, from me and my baby son here, Jacob, uh, congratulations, and uh, go get it, man. Congratulations, class 2020. I'm very proud of you that you made it. The world is out there, and you are all ready for it. Go for it. Congratulations, seniors. You've made it through this difficult time. I'm so proud of you as you start the next chapter of your life. Please don't forget to come back to visit us at LESP. Congrats, congrats again. The class of 2020, congratulations. If you can manage to graduate in these crazy times, you can do anything. One, two, three. Happy, happy graduation. graduation. Um, the sign said happy graduation, even though I think you didn't see it. Okay, we just wanted to congratulate the class of 2020, and we wish you all the best of luck. Congratulations, you guys. I'm so proud of you. You made it. And if there's anyone who is smart enough, resilient enough, tough enough, amazing enough to get through the past couple of months, and graduate in quarantine if you guys. So I love you, congratulations, and come back and give us a real hug when we're all allowed to do that. Hi seniors, congratulations, you made it. I'm so proud of you. You have worked very hard to make this happen. Wish you all the best in everything you do as you move on to the next stage of life. Hey, don't be a stranger and good luck. Hi LESP graduates, it's Miss Mariana. I just wanted to say congratulations on this new journey in your life. I am super duper proud of you all. And I look forward to seeing all the wonderful gifts that life has uh, in store for you. Remember, if you ever need us, we're here for you. Many, many blessings. Keep going strong. Take care. Congratulations seniors on graduating in 2020. These are crazy times, but you did it. Come back next year so we can say goodbye for real. Congratulations again. The graduating class of 2020, congratulations on coming through a difficult but ultimately successful school year. We're all very, very proud of you. And I want to wish you all the best of luck in college or in life. Go forth, be successful, be the best person you can be, and be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, and be sure to keep in touch with those of us left behind at LESP or wherever we're going to be teaching from. The world is small, as we discovered. So stay safe, be well, good luck in your life. 
Hi seniors, congratulations in graduating high school. I am very proud of all of you guys. I know some of you are very bummed of not being able to participate in senior activities and working in your graduation, but I want you guys to be very proud of making it to the end of this long, difficult journey. I cannot wait to hear all the great accomplishments you guys have made in your future careers. Good luck guys and congratulations again. Congratulations, graduating seniors. I know this year is very different, but the same thing is happening. You are graduating. Congratulations. I know the road ahead of you may be difficult and challenging. Whenever you get stuck, go back to what you love, what you're passionate about, and go back to your community, do community service and lead. I'm sure you will move forward with what you believe in. Congratulations again. Congratulations, graduates. You have made us all proud of the tremendous achievements you have accomplished. I hope you can also succeed in college and in your workforce. Always be positive and confident about yourself. Be ready to take new challenges and opportunities to enrich your life. Dear graduates, I wish you many happy days ahead. Do not let obstacles to stop to achieve your dreams. Good luck and success. Everyone, congratulations. Be healthy, be happy, and have fun. What's up, LESB seniors? It's Dr. Joe MD here. And I know it was a tough way to end your senior year like this, but if I had to give you some piece of advice, life is like a game of chess. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. But from those sacrifices come a great opportunity for success. All right. Don't be afraid to make a trade if it means you'll upgrade. Congratulations once again, seniors. Dear seniors, this is one of the best books of our time, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. In this book, the writer reveals secrets to success and happiness. Secret number one, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. Secret number two, when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. And the last one, the secret of life is to fall seven times and to get up eight. Goodbye and good life. Living in an unusual time. And during this difficult time, you have accomplished something great. This will be one of many great accomplishments in your lives. Congratulations on graduating, class of 2020. Congratulations, LESB, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you guys and so honored to have been your senior advisor. You guys worked through some tough challenges, but you did it. Congratulations and best of luck to you all. Congrats, LESB seniors. Woo! Woo! We're really proud of you all and everything that you've achieved wherever you're going this year, whether it's college or you're working. We're so proud of you and you all have a really bright future ahead of yourselves. You did it. We're so proud of you. <laughs> and the school will always be here for you. Remember that. And come back if you ever need us. We are really, really, really proud of you. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome for doing this during the pandemic. Um, we're proud of you. And like Jing said, we're always here for you guys. So congratulations and stay safe. <laughs>
like that with everything going on in the world, we did it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hey everyone, my name is Edison. Um, this year he us with many terrible things and I bet that it was an awful year for everyone. Well, regarding how awful it is, we were still graduating and we were still giving our next step to pursue our dream. Um, it was a really great pressure to meet all of you guys and I had a lot of fun during ISP for three years. And today I'm graduating with some awesome peers. So congratulations to everyone. Bye. Today is an exciting day, graduates. Despite all the danger in the world, today we are all united here to graduate. We, the class of 2020, have experienced the most and seen the worst. Unprecedented wildfire, coronavirus, racism, <clears throat> facial acne. These are our shared experience and will become our shared memory, making us who we are right now and in the future. But no matter how long I want to stretch this speech to prolong the ceremony, I could not change the fact that this is the end of our high school journey. It is our time to embark on society, to pursue our passion, to achieve greatness, and to finally leave our own legacy. We will be sure to make failures and mistakes along the way as we always have, and in the end most of us will only become average. But keep in mind that the average can achieve greatness since greatness is about giving those who we cross paths with, with a little bit more happiness and hope. Going out our way to be thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Not fame, money, lies, and grades. <laughs> Even we would like to have them. Graduates, the first step toward greatness is to recognize the greatness around us. So, take this time as an opportunity to be grateful to our family who did their best for us, our faculty who spent time nurturing us, and our friends and classmates who stayed with us. To them, we should say at least a thank you. Class of 2020, it has been a wonderful experience with you. No matter whether we will cross paths in the future, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you. Through the 
I'm not gonna leave my sight. No, I'm not gonna let you graduate. No way. Yo, COVID-19 is not stopping us from graduating. Yo, to all my guys, congratulations, bro. We did it. <laughs> Yo, we did it. Congratulations. Yo, and keep moving forward. I wish the best for all of you. Peace. Good morning, LESB teachers and staff. I would like to thank everyone who provided a great opportunity for me to graduate and continue with the rest of my life. I hope everyone have a great summer. Stay disease free, stay COVID-19 free, and enjoy your life to the fullest. Greetings. I hope this message finds each of you and your families well and healthy. Welcome honored guests, administrators, teachers, staff, parents and guardians, and family members. And of course you, our graduates, the class of 2020. My name is Paul Rotundo and I'm the superintendent for Citywide Transfer High Schools for the New York City Department of Education. I'm honored to be greeting you today in celebration of this wonderful accomplishment, you earning your high school diploma. I know that this achievement has not come easily, nor without the help of others in your life. So to the teachers, parents, family members who offered you dedication, support, guidance, and love, Thank you. And to you, our graduates, I recognize that this graduation is like no other, that it is impacted by the significant events that we're living through, that it is impacted by grief and loss, anxiety and challenges. But it is your graduation, and I believe your class has been charged with something special. To paraphrase a commencement address delivered recently by Oprah Winfrey, to the class of 2020, Show us not how to put the pieces back together again, but how to create a new and a more evolved world, a new evolved normal. A world that's more just, that's kind and beautiful and tender and luminous. We need you to be able to do this because the pandemic has obviously illustrated vast systemic inequities that have defined life for far too many and for far too long. You have the power to stand for and fight for, to vote for a healthier condition. Conditions that will create a healthier society. This moment is your invitation to use your education, to begin to heal our afflictions, to apply the best of what is in your head and what you've learned with the best of what you know is right in your heart. So to you, class of 2020, I challenge you to blaze a path forward, a path that is better for you, for your family, and for all of our society. I congratulate you and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I just want to send my congratulations to all my fellow fellows who are graduating. This year has been really tough for all of us. 
uh, we have a lot of challenges including uh, our whole pandemic we never experienced before uh, but we still managed to overcome these obstacles and to get where we are right now so let's take this opportunity to celebrate us to celebrate what we have, what we have accomplished uh, once again congrats to all of you and wish you the best luck in your future careers bye congratulations <laughs> Um, congratulations to you on 2020. I wish the best for you guys. Um, let's keep working forward to a bright future together. And uh, all right, I wish you all the best.
congratulations Worked so hard for that hard to vacation They ain't never had the dedication People hating, say we changing, look, we made it Yeah, we made it That was never friendly, yeah Now I'm jumping out of band, yeah And I know I sound dramatic, yeah But I know I had to have it, yeah For the money, I'm a savage, yeah I be itching like I had it Yeah, I'm surrounded 20 babies, yeah But they didn't know me last year, yeah Everyone wanna act like they ain't party But all that mean nothing when I swim my door, yeah Everyone counting on me, drop the ball, yeah Everything custom like I'm at the bottom, yeah, yeah If you fuck with winning, put your lattice to the sky How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind? With that bullshit, I just put it to the side Bought a sense of baby, they could see it in my eye My mama called, see you on TV Since that shit done changed Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Congratulations Work so hard, forgot how to vacation Now I can scream that we made it Now everywhere, everywhere I go they say congratulations Aunque no estés, te lo contaré Todo cuando te vuelva a hacer Un largo camino Pero no es esta vez Te lo contaré todo cuando Imaginé los aviones que volamos, lo bueno que pasamos Siempre recordaré cuando hablaba contigo y siempre lo haré Recuerdos en la carretera y en nuestro camino cada risa también Tuvo que cambiar el destino y te lo digo, nada es igual Esos días de trabajo no se olvidarán, sé que nos cuidas de un mejor lugar Too hard, I've been going too hard now. They say I need 
need a vacation Say I need to slow down And I ain't tryna slow down Pretty face with a bad attitude Working like I got too much to lose Built the f*** up on two by twos I wonder now I pay too many dues Head up in my heels I This what life's supposed to feel like Looking like I'm in a gym right Taking side pics, looking big like mm-hmm. Girl, you're working with some flash, yeah You bad, yeah Make a fella spend the cash, yeah It's bad, yeah Girl, you're working with some flash, yeah You bad, yeah Make a fella spend the bag, yeah It's cash, yeah Girl, you made it, you made it Oh, yeah, you made it, you made it Baby, girl, you made it, you made it By the power vested in me by the state of New York Regents, uh, I now pronounce you graduates 2020 from Lower East Side Preparatory High School. Yay!